Hey guys, it's Nelson with iOS Softmodder and today I'm going to show you GBA for iOS 2.0. So I've already covered GBA for iOS, the first version, and now a second version's come out and it's much greater than the first version. So I'm going to show you guys some of the cool features. You can download it directly from Safari. You just have to go to GBA for iOS app dot com and you'll be able to download it. If you go down here, you could just press download and then you'll be taken um, this pop-up will show up just press install I've already installed it uh, once you open the application you'll be told that you'll be you're downloading an application from a third-party developer so just accept it and you can open it up and so here um, I'm gonna head over you'll be able to see some of the ROMs that you have um, that you've downloaded here if you have none you can press the plus sign up here and that'll take you to a uh, another website where you can download ROMs. Um, you should only download them if you own them legally. So that's really the only way you can. Once you download them, you can check here. What's cool about this one is that it has both Game Boy Advance games and Game Boy Color games. So I'm gonna press. Uh, I'm gonna play this one. I'm gonna resume. And here you'll be able to see um, I'm playing Pokemon. Uh, if you tap on the buttons, you'll get haptic feedback. So you'll feel a small vibration, which is awesome because it lets me know that I'm pressing the button correctly. And the controls are way more, just way more fluid than the uh, previous version. Uh, if you press menu here, you'll be able to do several things. You can fast forward through long intros. You can save state, load state. You can even enter cheat codes for certain games. Uh, sustain button. What that does is you select a button and it'll hold it down for as long as you want until you tap on anywhere on the screen that isn't a uh, that isn't a button so you can see that it says that there so it's a uh, it's so far I've, I've been playing it for a bit and it's just it's very fluid it works perfectly the graphics look great so now we can exit that was the Game Boy Advanced emulator oh also actually if you guys flip you'll get it like this so you'll have the controls here you can make them as transparent as you want which I'll show you guys later how to do and you can control here and it makes it it's just a bigger screen now so more real estate to play the game okay so now we'll exit we'll go to menu I'll go back to the main menu and I'll go to a Game Boy Color game so here you'll see Super Mario Bros and the layout is of the Game Boy Color um, it also works really well if you tip it over you'll be it's a little bit different layout than the Game Boy Advance uh, with smaller real estate in the middle, but it's still playable and still works great. Okay, so now we'll head to the settings of the games. Oh, also, actually, I should add that there is sound. But you can see that there's sound. Uh, in previous versions, the sound was kind of off. It didn't work that well. It was kind of spotty. So now it works really well with all the games that I've played. Okay, so now we'll head over back to the menu. And if you tap on the gear icon in the corner, you'll go to some of the settings. Um, here you'll see audio, prefer external audio. This will, uh, if you enable it, game music will only play if no other app is playing audio. So say you're playing music from Spotify or something. You can also autosave. This will autosave anytime you create a save state if you quit the game or the app crashes, which is really good because sometimes it'll crash. You never know. You can also change the skins of the game for both Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color. You'll be able to see here you can change the portrait one or the landscape one. If you go here, you can just press the plus sign up here and you'll be able to see different uh, skins that you can uh, select from here or you can also download uh, from Safari. So we'll go back. You can change here the controller opacity to see how transparent you want it to be. It's at 50% now, you can change that. Here's the haptic control uh, feature. Um, since it's on, it vibrates anytime I press a button. You can configure buttons for any external controllers that you have. And this is pretty cool. If you have a Dropbox and you have some ROMs on there, you can sync them directly with this automatically. So if you turn, if you enable this, it'll let you log in through Dropbox. And finally, you can check updates here so that's pretty much it I've played the application you guys should definitely check it out it's it's really fun and it's cool because it's not on the App Store but you can still download it onto your iPhone and I'm not even jailbroken so I can still enjoy 
all of the games that maybe people that are jailbroken can enjoy. All right, well, thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at iOS Softmodder. All right, thanks.